In this Easy Air video lecture, we will take a look at analysis of frames, wherein we will learn the method to analyze a truss using method of sections. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Previously, we have learned about analysis of trusses by method of joints. In this topic, we will learn to analyze a truss by method of sections. Method of sections offer a quick solution to any required member. Unlike the method of joints, where we have to solve various joints one by one to reach the required member. Hence, method of sections is preferred for analysis of few members, whereas for analysis of the entire truss, method of joints is suited. As the name suggests, in this method, we will cut the entire truss into two parts and then separate them after which conditions of equilibrium are applied to any one part of the truss and thus force in the members is calculated. The principle, if truss is in equilibrium, an isolated part of the truss will also be in equilibrium. This is used in this method. The following steps are followed while analyzing a truss using method of sections. Mark the members which have to be analyzed. Prefer using a tick mark. Kindly note that in this method it is not necessary to find all the support reactions offered by the supports. If any of the reactions are required, we calculate them at the start itself. Draw a section cutting through the marked members, not necessarily through all the marked members, such that no more than three unknown members are cut. Select any one of the two parts and then isolate it from the truss. Assume that all members to be analyzed carry tensile forces. We will now apply all the three conditions of equilibrium to the isolated part to get forces in the desired members. Sum of all forces in x direction is zero. Sum of all forces in y direction is zero. Sum of moments of all forces is zero. Kindly note that moments are usually calculated about a point where two forces meet in order to find the third force. If any value calculated is found to be negative, it implies that the assumption was incorrect and that particular member carries compressive force and not tensile force. Sometimes we may require more than one cutting section to find forces in the desired members. The following problems will be helpful to understand the concept behind analysis of truss by method of sections. The way we select the cutting section, show the forces of the members and finally apply conditions of equilibrium to any one part of the truss to calculate the forces in the required members of the truss. Consider the truss shown. Find forces in members EF and GI of the truss by method of sections. In this example, we have to find forces in only two members. We will first draw the FBD of the entire truss. We will now apply conditions of equilibrium to the entire truss. We will first equate the summation of moments of all forces about point B to zero. On substituting the magnitudes of the forces in the system and their moment arms from joint B, we get the normal reaction about point J to be 11.56 kN. Now we will find force in the member EF. We will cut the truss about the section 1-1 as shown in the free body diagram of the entire truss instead of using the section AA as it will cut through four unknown members. Let us now draw the FBD of the right hand side part about section 1-1 as shown. We will now apply conditions of equilibrium to this isolated part. We will first equate the summation of all forces in the y direction to zero. Thus, we find the force in member EF as 1.56 kN, but compressive in nature. Next, we find force in the member GI. We will cut the truss about the section 2-2, as shown in the free body diagram of the entire truss. Let us now draw the FBD of the right hand side part as shown. We will now apply conditions of equilibrium to this isolated part. We will equate the summation of moments of all forces about point H to zero since two unknown member forces meet at point H. On simplifying, 
we will find the force in member GI as 4.25 kN, but compressive in nature. We could also solve this part by taking moment about point I first, which would give us the value of force in member HJ. Then, we will have to equate summation of forces in both X and Y directions to zero in order to find force in member GI. Let us now consider this problem. Consider the stadium truss shown alongside. Find the force in members FH, GI and GH of the stadium truss. In this example, we have to find forces in only three members. We will take a cutting section 1 1 passing through the unknown members FH, GI and GH. Let us take the left hand side part of the truss as this will avoid finding the hinge reaction. We will now draw the FBD of the left hand side part as shown. The angle GFH is equal to 45 degrees as sides FG and GH are equal in length and hence right angle triangle FGH is a 45-45-90 triangle. Now we will apply conditions of equilibrium to this isolated part. We will first equate the summation of moments of all forces about point G to zero. On simplifying, we will find the forces in the member FH to be 16.97 kN and tensile in nature. Then, we will equate the summation of all forces in the X direction to zero. Thus, we will find force in the member to be equal to 12 kN but compressive in nature. Then, we equate the summation of all forces in the y direction to zero. Thus, we find that the force in the member GI is equal to 32 kN, but compressive in nature. Let's have a quick review of what we have studied in this lecture. In this topic, we learned about analysis of trusses by method of sections. As the name suggests, in this method, we cut the entire truss into two parts and then separate them after which conditions of equilibrium are applied to any one part of the truss and thus force in the required member is calculated. The following steps are followed while analyzing a truss using method of sections. Then we solve some problems to analyze trusses by method of sections. These examples were useful to understand the concept behind selecting the cutting section the way we isolate a part of the truss about the cutting section and then apply conditions of equilibrium to a part to calculate the force in the required member. This procedure is followed till all required member forces are calculated. Thus, we learn to analyze a truss by method of joints.